talking breaking news out of the capital city right now where three cases of Legionnaire's disease have been confirmed at a health care facility. The health department met with families and residents of Summit Commons to discuss this issue and the risks. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the Department of Health with the breaking details. Steph. Well, the Department of Health just held that meeting with families of the residents at the Summit Commons Assisted Living Facility here in Providence. Uh, th after three people who live there contracted Legionnaire's disease, this is a severe form of pneumonia with a 10% death rate. Now, according to the health department, this was caused by the Legionella bacteria in the water at the assisted living facility. He said the water is being treated. Now, you can't get Legionnaire's disease from drinking the infected water. You need to actually breathe it in, for example, in the shower. Joseph Wendelkin says many people have small amounts of Legionella bacteria in their water at their homes but don't contract the disease. What happens is, unfortunately, when we see a lot of cases of Legionnaire's disease, it tends to be in assisted living facilities and nursing homes. And that's really for two reasons. One, most importantly, is that you just have a very vulnerable population. So um, people who are older than 50 years old, people who have underlying lung conditions, underlying medical conditions, people who have a history of smoking, are all much more susceptible to, um, to Legionnaire's disease. And when Delkin says the second factor is that nursing homes and assisted living facilities have restrictions on how hot they can heat the water so bacteria might not be getting killed off as much as it is summer with a higher temperature on that hot water heater. Now, as I said, the Summit Commons facility is treating their water and putting filters on the faucets so that the water is safe for residents. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Also. We continue tracking now developing news that was first breaking on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Residents infected with Legionnaire's disease at a Providence health care facility. We're told there are only a few dozen cases of this disease statewide each year. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to the health department this afternoon and joins us now live from the Providence mobile newsroom. Steph. The Rhode Island Department of Health is now testing the water at the Summit Commons Assisted Living Facility in Providence after three residents there contracted Legionnaire's disease. Family members of residents at Summit Commons meeting with the Department of Health after Legionella bacteria was found in the water there, leaving three people diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease, a severe form of pneumonia. There's actually Legionella bacteria at very low levels in most um, fresh water. Joseph Wendelkin from the health department says you can't get the disease from drinking the water. You need to breathe it in. And most people who do don't contract the disease. It tends to be in assisted living facilities and nursing homes. And that's really for two reasons. One, most importantly, is that you just have a very vulnerable population. So um, people who are older than 50 years old, people who have underlying lung conditions, underlying medical conditions, people who have a history of smoking, are all much more susceptible to, um, to Legionnaire's disease. He says nursing homes have restrictions on how hot they can heat their water, which means bacteria might not be killed. The facility is now treating the the water with chlorine and putting filters on the faucets and shower heads to stop bacteria from flowing through. And when Delkin says 50 people in Rhode Island last year got this disease, some of those cases were fatal, but he says most can recover with antibiotics. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.